Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I'm going to speak briefly about neutrinos. So what are these neutrinos? Okay. Neutrinos are very very elusive particles. Okay, that means they are very cunning particles. So before I uh, say something about them, I want to say these are chargeless particles having very very negligible mass. That is their mass is very close to zero. Okay, those are those are known as neutrinos. Now, how they are elusive? As I told earlier, they are elusive particles. You see, uh, initially when the scientists started detecting the neutrinos, what happened was say there is a point X, say there is a source X from where the neutrinos were emitted, and then you say just imagine hypothetically that a neutrino has to reach another uh, point Y. So, say I am the person who is observing the neutrino. I see that a neutrino is being emitted from one source X. And then after some point of time, as I, as I uh, plan that it has to reach the source Y, but it doesn't reach Y. So, what is happening? Where is the neutrino gone? I identified a neutrino which has been emitted by X, but I don't find it reaching Y. Something else is happening there. So, after years of thinking, scientists concluded that no, 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 no. Neutrino has definitely been emitted from X. But there is something going on with the neutrino. That means the neutrino after traveling some specific lengths, something happens to it. So they concluded that okay. Finally they came to finally they came to a conclusion that neutrinos are of three specific flavors. Okay. Namely the electron neutrino, the muon neutrino, and the tau neutrino. That means an electron neutrino which is being emitted from X. Okay, may end up reaching Y as a different flavor. Maybe it may end up uh, reaching Y by becoming a tau neutrino or a muon neutrino. So these three different flavors are there for a neutrino. Okay, and they are very distinct. Second thing is neutrinos do not interact with strong interactions. Okay, they are weak and they are fermions with spin half. At each neutrino, they have their own antiparticles. So that is how, how it means every particle to every particle there is an antiparticle. That uh, that statement is being followed. Okay. The another thing about uh, this neutrino is that they are being detected um, by very large detectors, which is their neutrino detector. Neutrino detection observatory are there in many uh, places of the world, and they detect the neutrinos and uh, they do not interact with matter at all that is the very strange thing the, their interaction with matter with matter is very 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 small okay so right now say if it is like two minutes from now then billions of neutrinos has passed through me and i don't even realize this similarly billions of neutrinos are passing to the surface of our earth there are various solar neutrinos which are passing throughout space and definitely they have some role in this universe so time will tell what is the role okay so how come the neutrinos how come uh, now if i tell you a little bit historical background over the idea of neutrinos was like in 1930s okay before 1930s scientists you understand that the energy car was continuous so in 1930s uh, some scientists they came up with a very uh, you know very confused equation about beta decay in that decay the energy curve was not continuous so they were thinking there was something wrong in the um, beta decay equation so in 1930s there lived a very famous physicist and uh, that physicist was named was the name of the physicist was Wolfgang Pauli okay and the other physicists used to believe they used to think that Wolfgang Pauli was the judge whatever he says is to be correct and because he was a person of a very high scientific attitude so Wolfgang Pauli was presented the con confusion about beta decay where whereby what was the confusion the confusion was uh, the energy was not conserved in that equation energy angular momentum was not conserved so Wolfgang Pauli after going through that equation came upon the idea that if there is a particle which he that time he if there is a particle if he fits a particle into the product side then the problem of energy conservation would be solved but he was not confident about that years later in the in the year 1955 Rins and Cohen, okay they confirmed the existence of anti-neutrinos which are being emitted by a nuclear reactor 
okay so that was a brave brief historical idea about neutrinos and yeah, and it is now it is the 21st century and many more centuries are yet to yet to come we have to yet understand the role ex exclusive role of neutrinos okay in the world of uh, physics in the world of physics and how we can understand the universe okay by uh, understanding its role okay in many different fields of studies so that was a very brief video about neutrinos i hope you could uh, get a glimpse of what i entered to say so assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh